Hi, welcome back. Another important session. So let's try to understand what is EDOC cockpit and why we need e-invoicing. Okay. Let's try to understand whether it is ECC or S4 HANA, the story is the same. That's what I would like to express to you. So what is e-invoice? First, you try to understand this. Okay, so like uh, generally, whenever uh, you do output determination for invoice, so either you can able to send through email or else, uh, so you can able to send the PDF copy as an attachment or print out, all these are the things you have seen. In the similar way, we have other formats also. There is something like IDOC, Okay, through IDOC, you can able to send the information to third party system. Okay, in the middle, SAP PI will be there, or else any other middleware will be there. Okay, so what exactly e cockpit? Okay, let's try to understand. This is the SAP driven, uh, you know, functionality where you can able to send your inbound and outbound invoices to one place. From there, you can able to convert into XML or PDF. For example, if you convert it into the XML, automatically the information will go to one more SAP uh, tool called SAP CPA or else PA, okay? CPA means uh, uh, cloud platform integration that is a new technology s4 hana or ecc or else if you take non-ecc system also you can able to integrate with it okay okay that is like a middleware to send an information or else if you take if not cpa you can able to use pa also okay so once it is captured into the xml XML means extended markup language. The information will be pushed to your respective tool. Why I have to do all these things? You have a questions. Why? Why I have to generate e invoice? So nowadays, if you take any country, government is asking their understandable invoice format. If you take our GST, they are giving certain dates for inbound and outbound also for invoice generation. Okay. Not only India, Colombia, Hungary, Bel uh, what you call Belgium. So you take uh, any country for that matters. Brazil, Germany. So they are having their own set of invoice format. They are looking from business actually. Okay, so how this is called when, when when you are trying to convert the format of invoice according to the government, their understandable language, the format will call it as electronic format. Previously, what happens if you way back to olden days, if you way back to last uh, 15 years also, there is no electronic much electronic relevance due to increased rapid business and government and business also don't have time so one click if you save the invoice automatically it will be converted into the electronic format and the required information will be received by government so what is the bottleneck what is the advantage what actually happening in real time let's try to see some example okay and I will try to run this T code and I will show you. So if you are not work anywhere for e invoice or else if you are a real-time consultant also, if you don't know about anything, never talk in interviews. This is my suggestion. If you are already working professional work on e invoice, so you can able to discuss. Okay, it's not so easy. First thing, at the same time, it is not difficult. Okay, you can handle this. If you see this in this uh, screenshot, SAP application, like your source document. What is your source document? It can be incoming invoice like your Miro, 
generated or else outbound invoices like you know your return invoice or else credit memo or else debit memo or else your regular invoice or else cash shells all these are the source document your invoice having a certain information that information so sap has a certain framework that is uh, based on background framework it will be converted into the uh, the the information what actually customer that particular government is looking for if you take colombia you have one format if you take brazil you have one format if you take india you have one format of e invoice electronic invoice so like this is the place where so e document okay the invoices documents will come here this is something called e document cockpit what is that so whatever the source document information that will be converted into by using edoc instance at the background sap program so the all invoices will be captured in edoc cockpit and after that if you look at this what edoc bit uh, there is interface connector will be there so i'm telling you you have a certain information on invoice so who is where and what is the billing date and what is the material and what is my payment terms like that you know certain information uh, your government also required right okay so that information i'm telling in standard for your understandability it's not so easy certain times they will ask certain fields that won't really not available in sap system such a case so whatever the information is there here uh, uh, we are taking with the help of ABAP and uh, we'll try to convert that information in xml if you send a material also that is available in the format of xml billing date also in xml so once it is so this is going to control away your interface converter here your cpa or pa or something will comes into picture okay so customer specific interface okay customer specific interface means like uh, will send interface like you know you have a taxware system you have uh, go socket or other third party systems will be there okay so that is basically what it happens what is the architecture your billing document from source and it will come to edoc cockpit and after that it will be processed and once i submit it it will uh, it with the help of pa okay whatever the xml is there that will go to another third party tax system from the tax system so that will be like you know received by uh, your government portal okay what is your job being an sd consultant or mm consultant or fi consultant your job need to take care of this part okay from here it's cpa consultant will take care so all put together will work for the solution so you look at this that is our step okay so just create a i'll show you i cannot able to do the submit because in practice system we don't have cp integration okay it's not so easy and maddy and these are the custom solution integration also you don't have if you look at this a little more clear okay so same uh, thing source document i'm just showing you okay another slide you can able to see this xml conversion so certain times once it is anchor so it is coming to if you look at this tax authorities before going to their understandable language it may be another non-sap system this is the this is our sap system so here source can be sap or non-sap also different situations will be there since we are working for sap always imagine this is sap acc or s4 hana and after that a cockpit is the one transaction will be there i will show you and after that you know you have a calls and uh, so you will look at this about proxies okay there is one transaction called as proxy a little technical okay nothing to worry about that okay try to understand this so look at these steps sap application this is the framework and this is the options for edo processing this is cpa I told you right. So whatever the information is received e cockpit from there with the help of CPA, it will be sent to the external systems. Okay. Either it can be uh, tax system, one step from tax system to it will go to the their government portal, or else it might be directly go to the government portal. It depends. Architecture, 
and uh, your technical consultants and your business and all put together having a collective decision for this solution okay so this is uh edoc main cockpit if you look at this uh initially whenever it is your uh, document is available as a created based on the background configuration of what we have set up so certain times if it is delivered delivery notification will come if it is submitted submitted will come so you look at this so like you know for this is the centralized place uh, where you can able to check for all your company codes mm -hmm. and for all your countries for invoicing okay so probably this is the common place from this place to it might go to any other tax system that's what is all about so this is the xml example if you see this uh, here uh, uh, the document number like your invoice number okay as a values invoice so just an example customer type business to business and your tax point date and all these things different things will be there all these will be captured as the requirements so let's try to see on system okay so practice system we cannot able to see everything but i'll give the glimpse what is the t code how it works Okay, let me show you the transaction code is uh, edoc cockpit. Okay, so once I press enter, see, I have a certain so this is uh, the company code I have a setup, and this is the user and uh, these are the billing documents okay got created it can be uh you know like uh, sd side or mm side billing documents as of now these are all these are sd side so this is the german invoice i have given the description okay so this is for german country and so let me show you with one example how it comes to here but we cannot able to able to submit because what could be the reason I will explain to you? Because if you would like to work for Germany, you have to implement certain SAP nodes. If you work for Colombia, you have to implement certain required SAP nodes. If you work for Brazil, if you would like to implement certain SAP nodes, you have to implement it. If it is India also, you have to implement certain SAP nodes. Okay, so there is no SAP nodes on this system. This is the practice system we know very well. So let's try to test this and we test okay just for uh, how it comes i will show you okay let's try to go to the status profile otherwise it will not allow me to move further this is what we have discussed some days ago let's save this you can able to see this. This is the order 709. And let's try to quickly create the delivery. Let's see if I have any surprises today. So till now everything is okay. Just do the picking quickly. Press enter. And let's try to because since it is a mandatory field, I'm just maintaining. This is like a regular OTC. Okay, we have created a delivery. Let's try to create a bill. So now see this, the billing document ends with 240. Okay. So change billing document. This is 240. And let's try to check uh, your accounting document. Anyhow, we require a billing document, 240. Now let's run. E cockpit. So there should be some background configuration. So now see the initial status will be created. Okay. If I select this, if I in real time actually, if you have a CPA integration, certain XML related configurations also will be set up by technical people. So then if you click on submit, it will not be submitted. So so SOA service is not defined. SOA service is defined by your technical people and you can able to 
to if you want to be able to do the configuration that's why the sending request it is not generated so you can look if you look at this this is our billing document and text and the date and all those things so here i can be able to do the submit okay here if i select this even i can able i cannot able to see the xml if i click the display because there is no proper setup soa means uh, soa manager means one t code will be there certain configuration need to be set up okay so this is at cpa side and uh, when it comes to so if i would like to go to the source document i can able to go it what is this this is my source document even i cannot able to do the other actions like uh, if i come here so i can able to cancel it i cannot able to delete it it will not allow you as of now because it is not full time setup this is a practice system i cannot able to reject it but i can able to cancel it always okay so no access is suc successfully executed okay there is no impact to there is no other system integration it is not connected with cpa it is not connected with pa it is not done the soa configurations okay this is for just your understanding like you know if you started in a, if you have started any project as a functional you must have minimum knowledge right that's what i'm giving here mm, what else uh, let's come to them here uh, these are the options will be there once is history application log interface in how it is not connected application log uh, if any error is there that is that it is going to show you okay uh let me tell you one thing before moving further okay i would like to request you if you are not subscribed please subscribe my channel rise your skills here i am going to discuss about excel and sap and whatever i know all knowledge transfer for real time uh, if you would like to get in for professional expertise so if you come here currently i am holding 6052 students this is my ecc hd course with 100 and 15 hours pre till yesterday 114 some hours so you can try this course always i am requesting you so if you really wanted to have a real time knowledge and better subscribe these two courses one is getting master to write functional specification and second one is for your idoc training if you really wanted to have expertise in pricing please try this basic course and you can try this for my advanced pricing all these are the different courses okay so this is for your business partners as for ana is very very important you can try i have done one dedicated course on what i would say as for ana sales actually this is the course currently with 48.5 hours i'm i'm just trying to add this video also over there this is for your condition contract with settle settlement management okay and along with that okay uh, if you would like to try like you know support incidents i have divided at standard level only these two courses you can give it right this is part 1 and this is part 2 okay so what not so many are there like you know advance payment three scenarios i have explained so i'm just providing all these links in the description box if you really want it you can able to give it right okay let's back to our discussion again uh, so here uh, so what is there let me show you the options here it is a bit slow this you can able to see in real time and let's go to the go to and go to the history basically what are the things you have tried that you can able to see this you can able to see this create and we have done the cancel and we requested to what i would say uh, to send to other system okay so anyhow this is not done so like uh, you will have a uh, status over you okay e document status will be there okay you can able to check all these things and let me try to so see interface guid it will be generated in real time okay because since it will be there it will be integrated with your cpa and other other things okay so let's try to do the refresh okay it will come like this so if i select this let me show you one thing 
let's try to reject one time and let's try to delete one time okay so now let's select this and now go and check the history now see so whatever we tried that will come here okay you have a unique GUID code will be generated. If you have certain issues, you can able to trace it back. Your ECC or S4 HANA versus your CPA and other third party uh, system related stuff. Um, what else? Okay, one more thing. So here you have a two, two ways. Either you can able to generate PDF or else XML, but there is no advantage of PDF directly generated here. It depends on the customer requirements, okay? What else? Let's come here. Application log means it will show you the errors, basically. Successful or failures or something like that. And this is the interface log. This we cannot able to generate because we don't have any integration. This is the brief about uh, e-document cockpit. So when it comes to variant, let's come here. Here, you can able to queue all the company ports. Okay. Uh, uh, which you would like to display here that you can able to do it okay i just made a selection so if you would like to take any other thing for example this is country is there okay just double click it will come as a filter okay uh, so source key probably like you know you can able to take uh, any other parameters if you want it maybe you can able to take version interface id like that all these are like you know filters basically okay anyhow i don't want to go in detail okay so this uh, variance we, you can able to save it in real time according to the customer requirement okay so thank you so much thanks for joining this session uh, so i specifically request you please subscribe my channel and if you'd like to learn more real time things thanks so much thanks for your time and joining this session have a great day if you really like this video please like it and if you would like to get more inputs from me like this you can comment that and and please give your feedback if you really like this video thank you so much have a great day